Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Andrew Whalen, Peoria, Illinois. Jude's Law. While in Kansas, I woke up with a dream. In the dream, I saw a preparation for battle. I was staring at a large man with intense eyes. He had long hair and full battle armor. He looked like an ancient warrior. His sword was enormous. I, I honestly didn't know if he was a man or an angel. One thing I knew about him was that he was a leader of ten thousands. In the dream, I looked again into his face and I said, That's Jude Law, the actor. I woke up from the dream and I heard the Lord say, I am preparing my people to enact Jude's Law. I asked what Jude's Law was and was led to the book of Jude. Holy Spirit highlighted Jude 1, 14 and 15 as a key for understanding. This same passage is also found directly in the book of Enoch. Enoch, the seventh from Adam, also prophesied about them. Behold, the Lord is coming with myriads of his holy ones to execute judgment of everyone and to convict all the ungodly of every ungodly act of wickedness, every harsh word spoken against him by ungodly sinners. Jude 1, 14 and 15. I heard the Lord say, when there is unrestrained evil infiltrating to intentionally destroy the seed of Christ and the purity of his life in a people, only judgment remains. Jude highlights the infiltration and the infiltrators of the ungodly, their ungodliness, their agendas, and their hidden works. Many theologians believe that the book of Jude is about false teachers within the church teaching false grace though that is certainly an aspect of who is being revealed as the ones deserving this condemnation. It is also a warning to all who would teach or participate and applaud the kind of activity directly related to that of the fallen watchers, those rejecting the purpose of grace to teach godliness and instead practicing lawlessness, especially unrestrained sexual activity that breaches God-ordained boundaries. Here are two examples. Jude highlights the sons of God who left their proper domain to produce offspring with human women, the Nephilim, and the severe judgment that came by the word of God through Enoch. See Jude 1, 6. Jude highlights the severe judgment on those who came after strange flesh. See Jude 1, 7. This was likely in response to their desire to have sex with the angel visitors at Lot's house. Strange doesn't mean unnatural. It means a different kind of flesh. Jude's law is about releasing the judgment of the Lord through the saints, doing it through partnership with angels against the structures, the systems, the kingdoms, the, the infiltration of demonic doctrines, Gnostic heresies, and Nephilim agendas. It is Ephesians 6 warfare against principalities and powers. It is not done by speaking directly to or against these heavenly beings but speaking forth the written judgments where every work of darkness is found. For certain men have crept in among you unnoticed, ungodly ones who were designated long ago for condemnation. They turn the grace of our God for license for immorality. They deny our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. Jude 1.4 The word designated in the Greek signifies written or recorded. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the afflicted with salvation. Let the saints exult in glory. Let them shout for joy upon their beds. May the high praises of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands to inflict vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with shackles of iron, to execute the judgment written against them. This is the honor for all saints. Hallelujah. Psalm 149, 4-9. This is not so much about directly contending against flesh. Jude's law is against the infiltration of the enemy, his demons, their doctrines and practices. We judge on that level. And to humans who are in alignment with this covenant or in covenant with demonic infiltrators and their fallen agendas and plans, they too will suffer the judgments. Lord Jesus, we declare, we declare this word, Father. Thank you for recording it for us across both historical texts and in your word. 
Lord, we stand on Jude's law, believing, Father, that you are coming. You are coming in judgment. First you came as the loving king, loving savior. Now you're coming as a, as a judge. Lord, I pray in your mighty name that any who can be saved will be saved. That, Lord Jesus, anybody, anybody who, who is, is possibly aligned with, with the enemy, Lord, that they would turn from their ways. Lord, if there's any part of my heart, my friend's heart, that is withheld from you, Father, we turn it over to you and we say, be it unto us according to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.